Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna talk about how you can learn English if you're lazy. And guys, don't tell me that you never feel lazy ever. It's absolutely normal to feel lazy sometimes. And I feel lazy sometimes too when I have to study English, when I have to study Spanish, because right now I live in Mexico, so I really have to study Spanish. And sometimes I do feel lazy and I thought that I could really make a video out of it because I believe I'm not alone. I believe you struggle with this feeling sometimes too and at that moment I just felt very demotivated because I was lazy and I was just like, I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of learning Spanish. So like, what can I do? I still want to improve, but I just feel incredibly lazy. So that's why I came up with a plan for lazy people. You're welcome. Okay, so welcome to my room and let's study together. That's usually where I work and where I study languages. So guys, you can study English, for example, right now or any other language you're learning. I'm gonna be focusing on Spanish because that's something that I really need to work on right now. So usually the first thing I do is I grab my notebook where I usually, you know, write down some things in Spanish and I just uh, look at it. That's it, right guys? We have to remember that this is a language learning routine for when you're feeling lazy. We're not very motivated right now, so that's something you absolutely have to keep in mind. For example, I have some uh, kind of interesting scribbles right here. I think I was writing about Mexico City. I was saying that yo estoy enamorada de Ciudad de Mexico, <laughs> that I love Mexico City. So basically my goal right now is to just read this and that's it. I'm not trying to memorize anything. I'm not trying to scold myself. I'm not trying to be negative for not remembering certain words in Spanish. All I'm doing is just reading these few sentences and that's it. Tenía mucho tiempo queriendo venirme a vivir aquí. Me encanta caminar, me encanta andar en la bici. El clima es más temporado aquí. Ah, temporado means mild. Okay. No me quiero regresar a Rusia, quiero seguir viviendo en México. Ya estaba muy acusada por no sé tanta gente. Obviamente todo esto es una montaña rusa. ¿Tienes más tiempo para ti? ¿Más tiempo para enfocarte en lo que tú necesitas? Okay, that's basically it. That's how I begin my studying if I'm feeling too lazy. I just kind of look through my notebook, you know, try to read some notes, refresh, you know, certain things in my memory, but again, not trying to memorize anything and not trying to quiz myself, right? This is not a test. I'm not at school anymore. I'm just learning because I want to. And before I move on to my second lazy step, I absolutely have to mention how I usually take notes when I'm learning a new language. Usually it happens when I'm taking a class with a teacher and right now I'm taking all my Spanish classes on LifeXP and I really want you guys to give it a try as well. LifeXP is an online platform where you can find language tutors for private one-on-one -on -one classes and you can use them on your desktop or on your phone. For me, the best part is that on LifeXP, I can improve my speaking skills because all the teachers are extremely skilled and professional and they're always ready to answer any question I might have about Spanish or about English. And guys, and if you're learning a different language, don't worry about that because LifeXP has a lot to offer. One of the coolest features of LifeXP is that I can filter tutors by interest. So if I'm interested in cooking, let's say, or in running, I can literally choose cooking or running or education and I can find like-minded people this way. And obviously it makes the learning process so much better if you're talking to a person who has similar interests to you. So if you want to give LifeXP a try, you can click my link in the description. And this link will allow you to take the first class for only 99 cents less than a dollar. If you're ready for more and want to subscribe, all you need to do is type in my code veronicaenglish30 and this will give you a 30% discount. 
or again, you can use the link in the description. And now let's move on to the second thing I do when I'm feeling quite lazy. The second thing I usually do is I open YouTube because I love YouTube and if you guys are watching my videos right now, I hope it means that you love YouTube as well. So basically what I usually do is I have a few creators that I really like on YouTube that speak Spanish obviously and I usually go to their YouTube channels. For example, I found this girl, her name is something like Josephine Witt. I guess, but she's actually French and she speaks Spanish incredibly well. So usually what I do is I go to her videos and I turn on her most recent one. <laughs> Okay, so usually my plan is I turn on subtitles because, you know, they're speaking pretty fast and there are some words I don't understand. And I just sit back, relax, because again, I'm feeling quite lazy right now. And I just try to watch this video at least for five minutes. This video is pretty short. It's only 12 minutes long. So obviously it's not gonna be that hard for me to watch it. So yeah, I just sit back, I relax and I try to just watch it. Again, I'm not trying to go to the dictionary. I'm not trying to Google the meaning of this word and that word. That's not the goal right now. The goal for me is to not lose this passion for Spanish learning because usually what happens is when you're feeling lazy and you make yourself do something you really don't want to do and if you repeatedly you know if you repeat this circle this cycle of doing something you don't want to do doing something you don't want to do one day you will hate English or you will hate Spanish for example because that's exactly how it works. You should give yourself some time off if you're feeling lazy. And that's usually how I give myself some time off. I just turn on this video, sit back and watch it. That's it. Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Espero que estén muy bien. Yo estoy muy contenta de verlos en este nuevo video porque... Yo estoy muy contenta de verlos. Actually, this is something that I also sometimes do. If I feel like it, sometimes I don't, but sometimes I do, is I kind of repeat a phrase or two because I think it's fun. Not because I think, oh my God, I have to do it. I have to shadow because I want to improve my pronunciation in Spanish. No, that's not why I'm doing. I'm doing it because I think the way she said it was pretty fun. So that's exactly why I'm doing it. Buenos Aires. Para estudiar un semestre en la UVA y hoy pues en en la todo UVA. el día, entonces yo creo que estaré turisteando aquí sola. Estoy en la zona de la Recoleta que solo he visto ayer de noche muy rápido, así que quise regresar aquí de día porque al parecer es la zona. Quise más... regresar aquí de día. Okay. Am I the only person who feels particularly hungry when I'm lazy? So guys, please tell me I'm not alone. So that's why right now I'm gonna be preparing something to eat, but at the same time, I still wanna be learning Spanish or learning English. So that's why I'm gonna listen to a podcast right now. For me right now, the most important thing is to just have something in the background and that's it. Because again, I'm feeling pretty lazy and I don't actually wanna sit down and have the transcript, you know, listen to the podcast, to the show and try to analyze everything, try to write down all the words I don't know. No, 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 no. That's not something I wanna be doing right now. I wanna eat, so I'm gonna cook something and just listen to a podcast and that's it. I'm gonna show you guys a show that I really like listening to in English. So it's called All Ears English. The reason why I like this podcast a lot is because the girls there, the hosts, they speak with American accent and that's exactly something that I want to have. I want to have the American accent and I'm working hard on improving it. So this is the show. You can save it. It's called All Ears English. 
I absolutely love it and I couldn't recommend it enough. It's a great podcast for when you just want to listen to something short in English because usually their episodes are around 20 minutes long and right now they have also introduced quizzes which are like five minutes long and they're so fun to listen to. So yeah, just gonna pick my episode and start cooking. Wanna listen? This is an all ears English podcast episode 2009. How to chat about chat GPT in English. Very useful. Right now, everyone is talking about chat GPT. Okay, after my delicious snack, I honestly only want to do one thing. Listen to music. Because again, I hope you remember, I'm feeling very lazy right now. So usually, when I feel very lazy and when I want to listen to music, I do two things. The first thing is I turn on my favorite song and I kind of go over the lyrics lyrics one more time. It is my favorite song. I probably know all the lyrics by heart and I can sing along. So sometimes I sing along. But what I also sometimes do is I go on TikTok and I try to find information about the song. So maybe you know, someone else is talking about the song or maybe they're talking about the artist, you know, the one who performed the song or the producer of the song. So this way I am on TikTok, I'm not doing anything serious, but at the same time, I am kind of improving my English or for example, Spanish. The same thing can be applied to any language guys so that's something that i want you to keep in mind last night was the time when i was feeling particularly lazy so that's why i decided to go on tiktok and look for this song called inner bloom by rufus du sol i really hope i'm pronouncing his name correctly because i'm probably not i'm probably butchering it completely this is one of the songs that i am currently in love with so yeah I just decided to go on TikTok and maybe watch some videos about the song, about Rufus Du Sol, or probably again I'm mispronouncing his name, but it's okay. I hope you get my point, guys. So yeah, that's about it. I hope right now you understand that feeling demotivated and feeling lazy is absolutely okay, and you can for sure learn English or Spanish or any other foreign language if you are a lazy person in general or if you're lazy when it comes to language learning it's absolutely possible the most important thing is to find the right routine for yourself guys please don't forget to check out life xp because i'm pretty sure it will help you become maybe less lazy or become more interested in learning english just because you can find a tutor that is interested in the things you're interested in and i think that's probably the best thing about live xp so if you want to give them a try make sure to use my link in the description if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video